All that you need to process chickens is a stock pot, a wooden spoon, a paring knife, and a thermometer. You also want to make sure that your water in the stock pot is 150 degrees plus or minus 5 degrees. Outside for dispatching chickens, all you need is a length of rope with a loop on the end of it. You don't even need anything as fancy as I've got. You can just use a tree limb to wrap the rope around it. Once your water temperature is stabilized at 151 degrees, then you can do the next step. You also need to have a clean countertop and clean sinks. Place the loop over the chicken's legs and cut its jugular vein. It takes about two minutes to bleed out and it doesn't really create a lot of blood. Place the chicken in your 150 degree water for 90 seconds until the feathers pull out easily. The chicken moving in the water for 90 seconds to agitate it, it loosens the feathers. Next, you want to remove the feathers. Just use your hands to pull them out in the sink. Next, you remove the head. You make two incisions in order to get the insides out, and you remove the feet. The first incision you're going to make is up by its neck. You're going to locate its crop, its trachea, and its esophagus, and you're going to move all three of those to the side. There's also an oil gland that's on top of the tail, and so you want the tail facing upwards and remove that oil gland. It's like a little bump. The next incision is just above the vent, just wide enough to stick some fingers in there, stretch the hole out, reach your hands up in there, and pull everything out. You can package the chicken whole or cut it up into pieces, which is what I do.